Welcome to the laser cutter tutorial. Here you will learn how to properly use this machine and make awesome projects. When operating this equipment, remember that safety always comes first. Safety goggles are a requirement at all times. In case of a fire, there's a red button on the laser cutter you must press that depletes the oxygen in the machine and turns it off. If that doesn't work, there are two fire extinguishers you can use, ABC and CO2. First, use the CO2 fire extinguisher, and if that doesn't work, then go to the ABC. If there's a fire in the laser cutter, first press the red kill switch. Wait 10 seconds, and if the fire does not go out, grab the CO2 fire extinguisher located at the left of the laser cutter. Place the extinguisher on the ground and pull the pin out. Do not hold the handle or make it difficult to pull the pin out. Then open the lid slightly and spray the fire once or twice and close the lid to contain the smoke. Wait to see if the fire is out. If not, repeat again. The laser cutter is quite popular, so reservations are the best. To make one, go to the student access tab on the Envision website. Note that reservations cannot be made the same day. This is an example of roster engraving. Roster cuts should be marked black and set to zero pass if engraving. This is an example of vector cutting. Vector cuts should be marked red. Note, we recommend doing this on our lab computers. Setting the colors in the drawing program is often easier than doing so in Retina Engrave, but you can do it in Retina Engrave if you need to. There is no design software on the laser cutter computer, so make sure all of your design is complete before starting. After you design your file in your design program of choice, print the file as a .xps. Set the paper size to FSL Pro LF Series 48 by 36. See the note sections for how to prepare a file and other programs. Ask staff for additional assistance. Envision has extra USBs for student use above the 3D printer kiosk. Open Retina Engrave and import your files. If it asks about large raster jobs, hit yes if you are doing engraving and no if you are not. Use the tabs to switch between previewing the roster or vector cuts. Make lines red for vector cutting and anything to be raster engraved black. This will allow the laser to differentiate between the two. Note, you can do this in your design software as well. Refer to the chart and example cuts for settings. Ask staff if you are unsure about material and settings. Set the power and speeds for the material you are cutting in the vector layer box to the right, and set the power and speed for the material you are engraving with the sliders at the top. Make sure you double check these settings or else you could set things on fire. To turn on the laser, swipe your school ID. This is a dead man switch. Every three minutes you have to press restart timer or the laser cutter will automatically shut off. Turn on the light switch on the right side of the laser cutter to see what's under the laser cutter. Click the refresh button in the bottom left corner to connect the laser cutter. This may take a few minutes. Make sure to adjust the Z-axis so the head does not hit the material before homing or moving the head around. Pressing the home button returns the laser to the far right corner of the table. Every time the laser turns on, you have to home the laser at least once. Don't forget to reset the dead man switch. Use the control panel to move the laser up, down, left, and right. Mm -hmm. 
Zero the Z-axis with the touch-off probe. Make sure the probe is over the material and click the button with the blue line through the box. This is an example of the probe off the material. Do not do this as it damages the bed. For light material, use masking tape to hold it down. Click the perimeter button to run the laser around the outside of the part. This is a good way to make sure your material is big enough. If you're doing both raster and vector, make sure you select raster then vector in the mode box. Otherwise, select the option you need. Click the green arrow to start cutting. Make sure your goggles are on and the lid is fully closed. Watch the machine carefully. If there's a fire, notify the staff ASAP. After you've finished, clean up your material and leftover bits. Close the lid and hit the end on the laser kiosk. Before leaving, make sure the workspace is clean. Don't forget your flash drive. Thank you for watching the laser cutter tutorial. Happy cutting!